I mean, I don't know what they're getting at with all these transformations. Do they want it to be a viable opponent for Goku and Vegeta? They'll fucking this, they'll wreck the bitch. And even though it made little sense when she transformed, when she did, she kind of ruined the whole Broly moment for me. Speaking of which... We gotta fucking let go of the whole legendary Super Saiyan thing, guys. I mean, like, they haven't even mentioned it in this anime. It's clearly not canon. She's clearly just a brolic Super Saiyan. She's a Saiyan on roids, and that's that's fine. It's fine and dandy, but it's... She's not a legendary Super Saiyan. I know it's gonna be difficult to fucking let it go, considering this, this episode was just uh, literally shout outs to Broly. I mean, like, she did like five different fucking moves that Broly used to do. Uh, the only thing I'm waiting for her to do is to take someone's face and ram it into the goddamn canvas of the earth. Um, everything else, uh, we gotta just put it, gotta put it to bed because they would have hyped up this power already. They would have brought up legendary Super Saiyan or, or a myth or they would have hyped this up before the transformation happened. So since it didn't, she just transformed and her Super Saiyan form is at most peculiar, you know, it's more specific and uh, unusual than other forms. That's all we really have at best about this. It's not really a legendary Super Saiyan. Even though it's a spitting goddamn image of Broly, it's a legendary Super Saiyan form. She's got the green hair, the green orb shit, the chat, the nipple blasts, the, the explosions. She's no eyeballs. She's fucking Broly. And I understand that. But it's literally just a, a heavily inspired uh, sh you know, heavily inspired idea from the movie. That's all it is. That's all she is. It's a re Consider her a reincarnation, but she's not Broly. She's not a legendary Super Saiyan. It, the legendary Super Saiyan is a title. It's it's something that's stronger than a Super Saiyan, your average Super Saiyan. And though she is, she does look particularly stronger, I kind of feel like it, there are showing off Khalifa in terms of superiority. So Goku went to hell, <laughs> right? Let's just kick it off with that. Goku went to hell. Uh, I gotta say, man, these poor bastards, like, you can only imagine how desperate you could really be if you're missing one team member, and even though it was that big, the only idea left is to go straight to the pits of hell to rescue the Hitler of anime, the guy who blew up your friend, the guy who killed your father. <laughs> and Give him a second chance at life. It's fucking hilarious. If I was Krillin, the way I looked at it, I would have fucking threw a destructo disc at that motherfucker for saying, oh, yeah, oh, Re Re resurrect Frieza, right? Resurrect Frieza? Huh? 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 It's like, <laughs> Jesus. He he's got to still be traumatized. So anyways, uh, Goku goes to hell, which he should, to be honest with you. I mean, he, <laughs> he kind of sentenced all of Universe 7 to death by uh, inspiring the idea of a tournament. Even though technically he, never mind, he kind of saved the universe. Whatever. I think they just rewritten that last moment to make him look like a hero. So, goes to hell, Frieza's still in the cocoon, looking pathetic as always, and um, cuts him down. Frieza didn't even look devastated or shocked when he saw Goku. He's just like, oh, what are you doing here? Like, And he almost looked like he was in content with where he was at. Like, he enjoyed just, like, you know, dangling around in this giant fucking semen ball web. And <laughs> just fucking just, like, you know, looking at flies and fairies and beautiful flowers and shit. Like, like he was in content. So he looks at Goku and he's just like, hey, what do you want? And Goku throws a little destructive disc with his index finger. And he's just like, yeah, I need there's a tournament. I need you to join. Freeze is just like, yeah, what, what do I get? And Goku's like, uh, fuck you. You think you're, like, in any position to bargain right now? And in my mind, if I was Freeza, I'd be like, well, you fucking came here, right? So clearly, you need me. <laughs> you, you really need me, actually. You kind of traveled all the way to hell to, to see me, to ask me. Like, how desperate can you really fucking be? Oh, yeah. I think I'm in a great fucking position to bargain. Top it off if I knew... Frieza knows for us, to an extent that Goku's actually a dumbass. So, yeah, he's definitely in a position to bargain. So, uh, so yeah, um, Frieza, you know, they, they talk it out. He lays the terms. Goku agrees to resurrecting him. 
Um, I, I don't know if he would. I mean, I think it would be pretty crazy. I mean, when you think about it, he's given people second chances. He gave Vegeta a second chance, and he was a villain. He tried to threaten the safety of his friends and, and people of Earth, but the difference is Vegeta didn't kill anybody of, of his, uh, well, any relevant characters. Um, so he said oh, I would revive him. I kind of believe Goku would. I, I kind of believe it. I mean, like, Goku would just stop him if came down to it even though frieza it's, it's dangerous as shit and that's that crazy bastard with such unlimited potential fucking the way he caught up to super saiyan god level in just a matter of a month it'd be ridiculous if you let that motherfucker come back see that smug bastard he knows he knows exactly what he's doing frieza then tickles goku's g-spot a little bit and starts talking dirty to him uh talking about power and all this shit and you know, Goku's over there trying to play cool, calm, and collected, but deep down inside, he's like, oh, fuck. He's got, like, the biggest boner, and he's just like, shit. I gotta, I gotta revive this man. I gotta revive his, like, a fight and kick the shit out of him. I gotta, you know, and Frieza's just, <laughs> Dude, Frieza's playing uh, his card really well because, you know, he's got the potential to surpass anybody, really. I mean, he caught up to a godlike level. It's a ye- culmination of years of training, and he did that within, like, a month. Or not even. And just imagine if he had two months. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he topped Beerus in strength if he had that much time. I mean, hell, over time, I could see him in line for the next God of Destruction. Well, if he lived since the Frieza saga, you know, if he never met Goku, I could see it. I mean, if he caught up to Super Saiyan God that fast? Huh. Super Saiyan God's not that far off. I mean, it took like what? 50% or a little more than 50% of Beerus's energy to handle that, so if Frieza could climb the scale of strength that quickly, can you only imagine? Now, overall, this episode was okay. I mean, like, I was hyped for Broly, you know, Kale. <laughs> um, but I'm not gonna let that moment of Super Saiyan 2 where, you know, Khalifa pretty much just threw the logic out the goddamn window. I'm not gonna let that moment ruin the entirety of the episode uh <sighs> rating 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 uh fuck i don't know uh seven yeah i say a solid seven would do i mean this episode was overall okay i mean like we saw what was gonna happen with freeze like we kind of knew i mean what else would a dead man want but to be brought back to life you know in terms of an agreement to help you help goku you know, so who who didn't see that coming? Um, as far as the Saiyan stuff, as you know, I'm not a fan of the Super Saiyan 2 thing. I'm pretty sure a good amount of us aren't. Um, it's kind of bullshit. I don't care what way you try to put it. it doesn't make any logical sense that she's able to uh, tap into strength like that on the first day of going Super Saiyan. Uh, that makes no sense. I can piss and moan about it for days. Another thing I'm noticing is Kale is getting really pissed off whenever Cobb is around Califia. Now, I know there's a lesbian thing going on here, but I'm just wondering, like, is this, like, part of her motive for becoming sane in the first place? Is this more like competition? Because, like, she said Kabe, and she's saying it like how she used to say, ka- how Broly used to say Kakarot. And I'm wondering, I think that's cute, it's funny, I guess, but, like, is this really the bond now? Is she's just basically a lesbian? She's got some serious fucking problems? And, jeez, man, like, I don't know, like, what, what, I'm worried, like, what's gonna happen? She's gonna wake up one morning, go on Facebook and see that Kaba accepted Khalifia's friend request, and then she's gonna fucking lose her mind and destroy the house or something? Like, I don't get it. What happens if Khalifia is straight as a board? And <laughs> she, she doesn't roll that way. She, she doesn't give it up. What happens? Is, she, is Kale actually gonna become Broly? You know, and start blowing up other people's planets and shit? Galaxies? I don't know. He's hormones, man. (laughs) Hormones and then Saiyans, deadly combination.